This video is going to walk you through the steps of completing a project working with HTML and CSS. This project is a great way to start to learn how CSS works with HTML. We are going to create a poster, a card layout working with HTML and CSS. We are going to essentially take a quote and stylize it to be used as a poster or a card. Let's get started. In this project, we're going to work with HTML and CSS to stylize a quote to create a poster that can be viewed on the web. This is going to be a great way for us to start to familiarize ourselves with writing CSS. I begin with my index.html. I have my opening doc type, my head tags, my title tags, my HTML tags, and my body. The next thing that I want to do, my index.html is blank. I am going to come in now and I'm going to add the type that I want to stylize. I am actually going to put my type in div tags. So I begin with my first div tag, my opening and closing div tag. I am going to assign this div a class. I'm going to name this class intro. This will be what I will use for the class when I stylize this line that's going to read as follows, hope. I type in hope. I'm going to come to my next line of type. And again, I'm going to do another div tag. I have my opening and closing div tag. I'm going to give this the class of line two. I'll name it two. Here I'm going to type shines brightest in the. Let's save and take a look. Hope shines brightest in the. So we can see that our HTML reads top to bottom. Let's start stylizing this adding color, making it larger and moving it to the middle of our page. We're going to do this with our CSS. We come back to Visual Studio Code and we're going to begin by creating a new file. I'm going to name this file style.css. I'm going to click on to this file. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to start adding some rules for my first line. My first line was given a class of intro. Whenever we're working with class items inside of CSS, we begin with a period and we type intro. This is specifying the element that we are going to stylize. Next thing we want to add are our curly brackets. We hit return and we can begin to add our rules. The first rule that I want to add is I want to give this a background color. I type background color. I can see that it begins to appear. I'm going to go for pale violet red. I end each line of CSS with a semicolon. I'm going to add a second rule. Let's give this a height. I type in height. We always want to think when we're looking at height on the web that about 72 pixels is an inch. I'm going to make this 144 pixels. Let's specify the type. Let's go to our font family. I am going to specify Georgia. When we come in this way without working with Google fonts, we can see that we have all of these different choices. The font will render based on the font that that person has installed on their computer. I'm going to go with my first line with something that has a serif. I type Georgia times a Roman times serif again, ending with a semicolon. Let's put in font size and I'm going to set it at percent. Let's set it to be 50%. Let's set our font weight to bold. Let's set our color. This will be the color for our font. We're setting it to white. Let's save and preview. Before we can preview these rules, we need to link our index.html to our style.css. We do so with the following line of code. We make sure that we place this line of code in our head and we type link rel equals style sheet, type equals text CSS, href equals style.css. We need to make sure that we copy this exactly as we see it on the screen. Let's save and preview. We can see that we've added our color. We definitely want to center this and make this a little bit more interesting. So we come back to our style.css. 
To begin, I'm going to change my font size from percents to pixels. I know that the height is 144 pixels, so I'm going to set my font size to 80 pixels. I also want to work with the width. I'm going to set my width, and I only want my width to take up about 60% of the screen, so I'm going to set it to 60%. I'm going to set my margins to auto. This will automatically center on my screen. Let's save and preview. I need to make sure I'm on my index.html. I'll hit a control click and I open with live server. I can see that I have hope in the center. Now I want to center the word hope a little bit more, work with the padding, change the font color, and keep moving along. Let's continue to work with this type. I'm actually going to just type in for my background and I want to actually set my color. I want this to be for the font. I'm going to set my font to white. You can even set it to white smoke if I'd like to. I want to set my text to align in the center. So I'm going to come to text align and I'm going to align this in the center. Let's save and take a look. My font is the color that I'd like it to be. I want to move this to the center. And I can see that my text line center didn't work. I forgot to add the semicolon. Let's save and look one more time. I have my first word, hope. Now I'm going to come back and keep working. I want to move this down more towards the middle. In order to add spacing inside of this div element of intro, I'm going to add padding. I come to my style.css and I'm going to add padding at the top. And I'm going to give about 15 pixels. I'm going to add a little bit of text de decoration. I type text decoration. I'm going to add an underline and I'm going to add an overline. And I have the word hope. As I take a closer look at my style.css, Actually, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to set this to 120 pixels for the height. And I'll make it 100, 110 pixels for the height. And I'm going to put my width at 50%. Sometimes as you're looking at CSS, you might be wondering all the different things that you can do. There are really great resources online. W3schools.com is one of them. You can come to the CSS page and you can see all of these different options. Everything from borders to height and width to specifying fonts to text shadows. Let's take a look if we wanted to add a shadow to our box as well. If I wanted to add a box shadow, I could come to this page and I could take a look. Again, I want a box shadow, not a text shadow. What's great about these websites too is they'll show you what it looks like. So here we can see it with a solid color and we can see it with different colors. We can see it also with blurred as well. The box shadow will specify the horizontal and the vertical and then our third number will add a blur. I'm going to go without a blur and I'm actually going to copy this line of code, edit copy. I'm going to come back to Visual Studio Code and I am going to add this to the box. I want to now stylize shines brightest in the. I come back to my index.html and I know that I have named this div class 2. I come to my style.css and after the rules for my intro, this is a class. I start with a period and I type 2. I have my opening and closing curly bracket. I want to find an interesting font to work with here. So I am going to come to Google Fonts. I can do a search for Google Fonts and I can see that we have all these different ways that we can make the web more beautiful by working with Google Fonts. I can take a closer look at my categories. I want to take a look and work with handwriting. 
I'm going to use Dancing Script. I'm going to click on to this font for Dancing Script. And I can see it right here. And I have two things that I need to do. The first thing I need to do is I need to copy this link code, edit copy, and I'm going to come back to my index.html. I am going to paste this line of code in the head. The next thing that I want to do is come on back here and I am going to use this script, Font Family Dancing Script. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to come to my style.css and I am going to paste that font. Let's work more with the font size. Let's specify the color. We'll use the color pale violet red. Let's come for our font size. We'll set it at 80 pixels. And we want to align it in the center. We come to text align. Let's save and take a look. Come to our index.html and we open with live server. Hope shines brightest in the. I'm going to come on back to my style.css and I actually want to add some space on the top. I set my margins to auto, but I actually am going to change this around a little bit. I'm going to set my margin right to auto and I also am going to set my margin left to auto. What I want to do now is I want to actually specify some of the margins at the top. So I'm going to come on in, I'm going to type margin top, and I'm going to set this for 25 pixels. I'm going to set a margin at the bottom as well to add more space. I'll set this one for 25 pixels. Again, I can always come back in and change it around. I'm going to save and preview. I come to my index.html. I have a control click and I open with live server. Now I'm going to add darkest. I come to my index.html and I'm thinking that I'm going to have darkest the same as hope. So I'm going to come back to my index.html and I am going to come to my next line of type and I'm going to type div by opening and closing div tags and I'm going to type class. I am going to give this the name intro because it will look the exact same as hope. So I'm going to type in all caps, darkest. Now I'm going to add a div tag for my next line. I have my opening and closing. I'm going to give this the class of two. And I'm going to type capital M O M E N T S. Hope shines brightest in the darkest moments. Let's save and take a look. I can see that by working with these two different classes, I have stylized my font. Now let's maybe I want to wrap the whole thing in a container and even add an overall background color. How could I go about doing that? I come back to my index.html and I can come to the very beginning after the opening tag and I'm going to, and I'm going to add another div tag. I have my opening div. I'm going to hit edit cut and I'm going to come to the end and I have my closing div. I'm wrapping the whole thing in a div and I'm going to give this a class and I'm going to name this the background. Now I'm going to come back to my style.css and I'm going to add some rules for the background. I type in background and I start to write my CSS. I'm going to set a background color. I type in background. I'm going to set it to antique white. I want to add padding at the top. I'm going to set 144 pixels and I'm going to add padding at the bottom as well. I'm going to set the margins, margin left to auto, margin right I'm going to set to auto as well. And let's take a look and see what this looks like. I'm going to save and preview. I can see it now is more in the center. Let's take a closer look 
and push this even further. I come back to my style.css and I'm going to specify the width. I'm going to set the width to 70%. I'm going to set a margin at the top of 80 pixels. I want to go out to the web and I want to take a look at some of these different rules that I can use to add CSS. There are so many great resources on the web. I'm going to come to W3 Schools. They have really great online tutorials. And I want to take a closer look at CSS. I can go through and look at CSS colors. I can come down even further. I can do opacity. I want to focus in on rounded corners. And you can really take a look at any of these and work with them. Text effects, web fonts, border images. I can see as I take a closer look that in order to do this, I would set the property for border radius for my rounded corners. I'm going to do a radius of 25 pixels. I'm going to copy this line of code and I'm going to come back to my style.css and I'm going to add a border radius to the background. I can also add a box shadow as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the line of code that I used for the intro. I'm going to copy, edit, copy this line of code, and I'm going to paste it with the background. And I can see that for the width, I forgot to end with a semicolon. I'm going to save one more time and I'm going to come on back and I'm going to preview. Now I have a finished result. I've created a poster, I've stylized a quote, hope shines brightest in the darkest moments, working with HTML and CSS.